the brain behind the screen, unveiling the zoom effect. Today, we're unraveling a fascinating piece of the digital puzzle, the difference between our face-to-face -face conversations and those on Zoom. More importantly, how our brains perceive them. Using state-of-the-art imaging tools, researchers uncovered the neural dance that takes place when two people converse in person. What they found was a captivating symphony of activity in areas of our brain governing social interactions. But shift that conversation to Zoom, the activity changes drastically. In live encounters, our brain's social systems come alive, working in overdrive. But on Zoom, these signals dimmed down considerably. To put it simply, when we're on Zoom, our brains aren't processing social cues as actively as they do in real life. It's crucial to understand that our brains are natural social engines, constantly decoding facial cues, vital information in any interaction. The groundbreaking neuroimaging tech revealed that in face-to-face -face interactions, the strength of our brain's signaling was remarkably higher. Ever noticed your pupils dilating in a lively discussion or felt completely in sync with someone? That's your brain's increased gaze time, heightened arousal, and its impressive face processing abilities at work. On the flip side, Zoom encounters often miss out on this intricate neural synchrony. The harmonious exchange of social cues, the ebb and flow of an in-person conversation all seem to get lost in digital translation. Researchers made a poignant observation. Current online platforms just don't provide our brains the same privileged access as real-life face-to-face interactions. In today's digital age, understanding this Zoom effect is more crucial than ever. While virtual platforms offer convenience, they might just be an abridged version of our rich, intricate social dance. So cherish those in-person chats and let's hope for a future where technology can match up to the magic of real human connection. What do you think of this research? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.